Hi guys, Nick here from technianproject.com and today I'm going to show you how you can convert your Android devices into iOS devices. It will look exactly same. Everything like lock screen, like notification center, control center, everything will look exactly the same which you find on iOS devices. So what you need to do is just install all the applications which are given in the description down below and you are just ready to go. So I just make you see after installing all the application. Let's start with uh, the camera. I've already installed the geek camera and as you can see the UI of it is uh, same. On the right side there are three functions like video, photo and square which you get on iOS devices. At the left side there are different uh, settings. You can also change the resolution and at the right there is the option for changing the color grade which you also got on iOS devices next come to the launcher the i launcher just click on it and you are ready to go this exactly looks like the same iOS you can even uninstall or rearrange the icons by holding on any of the icon you will get the cross button for uninstalling and you can even drag and drop it in different area to change the location after that we come to the keyboard so for the keyboard just click on the apple keyboard and you can just configure it by clicking on the apple keyboard just click on ok and after that just switch input method to apple keyboard it will be the default keyboard for your device i have opened my app and here i get the apple keyboard as you can see so after that you will get the notification center just click on it and go to enable notify click on accessibility and after that click on i noti after that just go back and click on notification and make the default app to i noti so as you can see the default uh, status bar has been changed and by pulling down you will get the same notification panel which you get on ios devices you can also make the battery percentage show by clicking on over here and you can change the format of the clock as well you can even add the carrier name if you want now when we come to the screen of the device so to get the lock screen just click on the lock screen remove the old password which you are using after that you can set your own password over here like i am doing it like one two three four confirm your password one two three four and it is done the fingerprint sensor will won't work in this lock screen a uh, drawback for this and you can change the lock screen photo from here as well and on the setting you won't be able to change the lock screen you need to open this app for it like i'm setting up the desktop wallpaper like this and here's a pin one two three four it looks exactly the same after that the control center is being installed by just clicking on the control center application and just cancel it because it is the trial version not a pro version you will get some kind of ads in it you can configure it accordingly and as you can see there is the control center by just uh, dragging it from down to upwards gets all the features and from dragging from upward to downward you will get the search option which we get on the ios devices and it really search and with the keyboard so it looks exactly the same i have converted my la tv 1s into an ios device so you can convert any of your android device into the ios device and configure it according to your use you can even set the applications to default so that uh, it won't affect by clicking on the home key like we go into the setting app management default apps then launcher just select the i launcher as your default app then the camera as the geek camera as a default app so you can change it accordingly and now when we press the home key it will just directly go to the i launcher it won't open the ui launcher which is great so that's it for the video hope you guys like it if you want to see more of this stuff be sure to hit the like comment and subscribe button you can also follow me on twitter and make sure to check out my other youtube videos so see you guys in my next video till then see ya